Good morning, folks. We've got news to hit today on the volcano, meteor, moon, Mars, stars, and globular clusters. We're kicking off, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star were quite calm. Coronal Hole now departed on the south as the solar wind calms down. Solar flaring remains calm as the one sunspot group departs on the north and the next one appears less complex in coming from the left, doesn't even have solid umbra. It is likely that the northern coronal hole is too high of latitude to reach the Earth position, at least not more than a breezy side swipe. Left side, we do have another little one nearer to the equator. Folks, there's no good news out of Guatemala. That volcanic eruption we saw yesterday has seen its death toll soar over 60, more than 300 injured. The plume is easily visible from space. Sulfur dioxide releases are heavy. Up next, remember that meteor that hit the ground in Botswana two days ago? Well, indeed, they spotted it a few hours before it hit as it was crossing one lunar distance from Earth. It was only about 10 feet wide, so you understand why maybe they didn't warn people, thinking it would completely burn up, but then again, it did hit the ground, didn't it? Hundreds of little meteors grace the skies every night. A couple do hit the ground, mostly in the ocean. It is amazing they caught this one while it was still up there, but sad that nobody on Earth knew about it until it hit. Aesthetic piece here from the ESA, panning across the Martian South Pole and layers of water, ice, and varying dust content, which gives each layer its unique hue. Now, on to problems in science. The heck you mean you found too many stars? Turns out massive stars form much more easily and to greater masses than expected. This throws star formation models into a bit of a tailspin trying to figure out how such massive objects work and how so many find their way into some galaxies but not others. Along that note, globular clusters were thought to be almost as old as the universe. Nope, not even close. Way younger. Imagine meeting a 45-year-old person and your eyes mistake them for being 70. That's what science did with globular clusters, and no, they're not that hard to find and study. There are over a hundred of them just in the Milky Way. A point we utterly applaud. The hundreds to thousands of Pluto-sized minor planets in the trans-Neptunian space are beyond what's needed to tilt the solar system's outer reach. No single large body needed. Lastly, a long time ago, Earth's day was only 18 hours. Great if you're counting the days to your birthday, but bad if you already wish there were 30 hours in the day. They say the lunar position relative to Earth entirely changes our rotational dynamics over astronomical time. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support over at suspiciousobservers.org, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.